Okay, good stuff. Uh, so, uh, hi, I'm Ben Hancock, Managing Director of uh, Family Run Company in its 43rd year called Oscar Acoustics. Uh, we've been leaders in the manufacturing of acoustic enclosures and then the application of acoustic spray-on finishes for reverberation control over the years. Uh, now we use all this experience to bring to you an exciting range of soundproofing products. Um, but first, a couple of alarming facts. So, uh, noise pollution is a serious problem. Um, the chief medical officer in England uh, pre-COVID anyway, said it's only second to air pollution in damaging public health, while the World Health Organization, WHO, highlights such uh, issues as tinnitus, sleep disturbance, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, adverse birth outcomes and cognitive impairment in children. Um, WHO calculates that noise contributes to the loss of one million years of life a year in Western Europe alone? You can't always control your exposure to these dangerously high noise levels in your day-to-day -day life. And not all employers, will, uh, not all of you will be lucky enough to have employers that have installed our state-of-the-art acoustic sprays in your workplace to reduce noise and improve sound clarity. But in your own home, this is where you should be able to shut the world out and relax. Sadly for many, living in flats or houses of multiple occupancy, this is not the case, leading, leading to serious impact on the occupant's well-being. Um, it's no wonder that our inquiry rate for soundproofing has gone through the roof since lockdown, with people spending longer in their homes being subjected to the noise of their neighbours, they're fast becoming less tolerant. Uh, many builders offer soundproofing as a service, uh, but without understanding the principles of acoustics and vibration, basic errors are made, leading to the ceilings doing next to nothing to reduce the noise transfer levels. We are regularly contacted by people who've been burnt by this and understandably nervous. So how does sound travel through floors? Sound travels in two ways, through the air as airborne sound, through solid surfaces and as impact sound. If someone is banging, crashing, jumping, or just talking in the room above you, the vibrations and sound pressure waves generated will travel through the floor and joists with the vibrations traveling into your ceiling and effectively turning it into a speaker. And how to stop it? Uh, there is a number of ways to reduce noise between floors. Uh, removing standard thermal insulation and swapping for well-fitted acoustic insulation is a good start. When using acoustic rock wall slab, improved performance can be achieved by leaving an air gap beneath to help reduce the vibration path into your plasterboard. Or replacing existing standard plasterboard for something like sound block uh, can help a little by adding one or two dB performance. Um, impact noise can be reduced by using specialist acoustic flooring systems or acoustic foam or dense carpets. However, there are several reasons why these methods can be impractical or ineffective, uh, not least because they all require access to the floor above. But if you can break the path of vibration with a quality rubber insulated acoustic isolation hanger, um, effectively creating what is known as a floating ceiling, this is by far the most effective and hassle-free solution. For the ultimate professional grade and cost-effective soundproofing, we invented the Oscar ISO mount. Uh, being an engineering company at heart, when we decide to design a new product for the Oscar Acoustics range, it needs to be significantly better than what is already on the market, solving all current issues. We decided to concentrate on a handful of points, knowing other benefits would follow. So class leading acoustic performance, uh, the minimum of ceiling height loss, certified fire performance, height adjustable, uh, ball allowing for flat ceilings across uneven joists. All work is done from the room below, fast, economical and simple, clip together installation and designed and made in Great Britain, uh, specifically Kent. 
So this is the ISO mount type one, and it was the first in the range of three. So taking the first point, um, ISO mount type one's acoustic performance comes from being attached to the side of the ceiling joist, but ensuring the vibration path is broken by the rubber block and is therefore not directly contacted um, to the ceiling channels or the ceiling. Um, a huge amount of R&D went into choosing the perfect grade and shore of this rubber um, to enable um, optimum performance. Uh, on this image, you can see that with the rubber block in the center of the ISO mount, the ceiling channel is completely isolated from the L bracket on the joist. This is where systems like resilient bar lose valuable performance. They may create a space in which to insert insulation and also give a degree of damping due to their spring, but they are a direct connection of noise and vibration to the new ceiling, meaning it's not truly isolated they can also be problematic to fit without compromising the, the performance. For peace and quiet, the isolated ISO mount is the way to go, achieving better than compliance with the British building rigs, approved document E for airborne and impact sound. This image also brings us nicely onto the second point of minimum ceiling height loss. Most systems either fix to the underside of the joist or their design means that the ceiling channel must run across the joist instead of being neatly tucked up beside it. When it's in its highest position, the ISO mount system loses as little as five to six millimeters instead of what is commonly at least 40 to seven lost in height with other systems. This is particularly useful when fitting soundproofing to basement flats or rooms where architectural features prevent um, height loss. Fire performance um, is also extremely important in the current, current climate and is only set to get stricter following the conclusion of Grenfell. When designing the product I called our competitors technical departments and when asked what fire rating their product achieved all but one stated that the acoustic system did not require a fire rating and was protected by the plasterboard which did have one. That is simply not correct and a dangerous misconception by some manufacturers and contractors. An acoustic hanger or bar forms part of the ceiling makeup. If the product fails due to heat, the entire ceiling will collapse. As regs get tighter, I can see contractors having to remove non-compliant ceilings. So always insist on having a copy of their fire test report for your records. We're proud to say that our ISO mount system achieved a 90 minute fire rating at BRE in the uh, tested configuration. So for that, uh, please see, uh, see our website or, um, or contact us. Now I mentioned that being height adjustable was one of our aims. Uh, here you can see it in its highest position um, and it can slide up and down the joist. The lowest position for the ISO mount actually achieves a 40 millimeter gap beneath the joist, allowing for plenty of adjustment when trying to create a level ceiling across uneven joists. So waving ceilings screwed to the underside of uneven joists are a, a thing of the past. For really extreme adjustment, um, it's possible to locally screw blocks to the underside of the joist where the ISO mounts are required. More good news is that all work can be done to the room below. Um, acoustic floor systems can be extremely labor intensive um, as the, the extra buildup of floor um, leads to skirting boards um, and doors and, and also um, floors in rooms that don't require the soundproofing all to be adjusted and leveled. Um, if you're having a dispute with your neighbors um, ISO mount also means you can do all the work um, from the room below uh, without disturbing their fun. Um, many ISO mount competitors are designed to work only uh, with their proprietary channels, which can add a significant amount of overall build cost. For ease, the ISO mount is designed to be compatible with off the shelf channels such as British Gypsum's GL1 or the Gypliner one. Um, although there are many um, on the market 
uh, with the same dimensions. Uh, this brings the channel cost down to as little as 88 pence a length for the BG version. Um, and if you run out, they're readily available from most builders merchants instead of waiting for a top up um, order delivery of the proprietary channels. Um, once the ISO mounts are up, the channels clip quickly into place and require no mechanical fixing at all, making installation very fast. Time is money, of course. Um, the plasterboard is then screwed up um, to the channels. Um, for optimum performance, most choose two layers of plasterboard, staggering the joints. Next on the list, um, extremely proud of the product and with the intention of exporting it around the world, it was extremely important to us to ensure it was designed and made in Great Britain and more specifically in Kent where we're based. Uh, we've been working very closely with the Department of International Trade and plan to um, uh, do a big global launch the minute the trade issues all calm down. Thank, um, you. Thank you, Ben. I'm really keen that um, we just have a chance for a few questions. Are, are you finished now? Uh, very close to it. Um, okay. A few more slides. Will I, uh, will I just finish those off quickly? Okay. Yep, sure. Okay. Uh, so following on from the popularity and incredible feedback uh, we had on the Type 1, uh, we decided to launch the Type 2 and 3 using the same principles. Um, so the Type 2 um, is fixed direct to concrete or, or the plasterboard uh, through into the joist um, and uses the, uh, the same saddle there and the channel just clips in. Um, that's great for listed buildings where you can't reduce, uh, remove plasterboard or feature ceilings. Uh, that gives you a 50 millimeter um, gap there. Um, and there's also um, drop rods available as well if you need um, larger voids um, and all the kits are available. Um, you also have the type three. Um, so this uses the same components and gives you a hundred mil void, but with plus or minus adjustment built in. Uh, so you fix the L bracket into position and then the second bracket slides up and down and then at any time that two of the screws at the side, they line up. So it gives you a millimeter adjustment at, um, at a time and makes uh, laser leveling extremely easy. Um, and that's, that's the range in a nutshell. So so uh, all of those are available on our uh, on our website. Um, so for a peaceful life as a designer specifier or developer or even a homeowner, uh, please consider the ISO mount range. So uh, check us out. There's uh, installation videos and animations on our website and also YouTube channels and all our social media channels. So thank you very much. Thanks, Ben. Um, we're a really um, useful presentation there. We've got lots of questions in the chat for you as well about that. Um, for instance, Christopher Hartis, just uh, I'll just take a couple of the questions because we're, we're running out of time. Sure. Do you have any solutions for use when the noise source is below instead of above? In this scenario, there is no access to the flat below either. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so um, the systems you've seen, whilst we're, we're always, um, we're growing the range. So at the moment you just see um, soundproof ceiling systems there. Um, you can use, um, you can, we, we've got a product called Selbar, which is um, a recycled paper insulation uh, that's fire treated and that can be pumped if you can get down under your floorboards that can be pumped into the void and actually will deal with a lot of the um, uh, the airborne noise so obviously you don't get the impact noise on your ceiling so actually that's going to be extremely handy. Thanks so much Ben. Um, is, we've got lots of questions here we haven't got time to answer but is there a way that 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 they can contact you through your website or something like that? Anyone who's got any questions about your products? Yes, there is. So uh, the email address is mail at oscar-acoustics.co.uk. If you just Google Oscar Acoustics, we come up top, of course. It's a slightly unusual name. Um, but um, there's, as I say, there's the, the uh, videos. And I'll try and go through the question and answers uh, section and try and answer a few of the questions on there as well. That would be great. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you very much. Great presentation.
Thanks.